How you doing? Welcome back inside my grow room. Hey listen, today is February 11, 2014 and I have some seedlings started for lettuce. I am growing in uh, three gallon totes here and as I ramble and talk I'm going to show you how easy it is to get these started. Uh, growing two different uh, kinds of lettuce and I'm gonna, the, the growing method will be cracky style which means no aeration, no pump. Uh, basically water, tote, nutrients, styrofoam on top, net cups, let the roots grow down, absorb the water, uh, let the, uh, and naturally as the uh, water is absorbed the nutrients are eaten, the water levels will go down which will leave a gap, an air gap in there for the roots okay and that's important so don't fill these up make sure you have a big enough tote to cover an entire grow about one gallon per head of lettuce uh, okay so two varieties I've got started um, and actually I was just gonna do one variety which is called a ruby red and uh, what a, I got this from what Livingston seed uh, Let's see, maturity 50 days, I've grown it, I don't know, four or five times now. Really like it, loose leaf uh, lettuce. I never get it to grow red like this. Um, but it's a good, uh, it's, a, it's a really good lettuce. Started it from seed two weeks ago, okay, about two, two weeks and one day ago. And then um, I was in the hardware store and I was looking for some uh, grow, uh, some hooks. Uh, so I can start stringing up some of these tomatoes behind me that you can't see. And um, I ran across their 2014 uh, seeds and uh, in the in the local hardware, and this is from American Seed. And, and this is, you know, a lot of people walk through life blindly. Uh, you know, with tunnel vision, they go to a store for one thing and they leave. Um, man. Slow down. Take a look at life, man. I mean, there are, there are stuff out there. So whenever I see a seed rack, I always, like, venture through it, right? And uh, I found this, and it's called Grand Rapids Leaf Lettuce. I've never heard of it before. I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And so I thought, well, what are the odds of this seed actually being from Grand Rapids, Michigan? Well, I looked it up online, and of course, everything on the internet is true, right? And sure enough, this lettuce variety was found, uh, was created, uh, I don't know how, what the proper word is, propagated, perhaps, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I says, well, i got to give that a shot. So a week, a week ago in two days, I planted those. So the Ruby Reds had a week head start on these. And what's fascinating is, is after a week and two days, the Grand Rapids lettuce has already outgrown in, in, in the form of a seedling, the ruby red, and I'll show you that. But uh, again, it's from American Seed. It's Grand Rapids leaf lettuce. Never grown it before. Started them out. I'm uh, <laughs> pretty thrilled with it, actually. Uh, so I, hopefully it, it grows out good and... Uh, even more importantly, it tastes good. So, let me show you the seedlings uh, real quick. This is a... How you doing? This is a uh, ruby red seedling. This is two weeks and two days. Okay, and this is what we're going to plant. And then this right here, look at that, is the Grand Rapids lettuce, man. And that's one week and two days. This thing's a week older than this one. And, uh... This thing is just booming, so, uh, man, this might be a really fast-growing lettuce. It looks like it so far, so I'm pretty jacked about that. So we're going to give that a whirl and see what happens. All right, so I, what do I got here? I've got three uh, three-gallon totes here, enough for six heads of lettuce. I already have some going in the back here. I'm shooting a separate video on those. So what am I going to do with this? I've got them already three-quarters of the way full with standard tap water, okay? Uh, and if you can't see these totes, I apologize, or if you can only see the top of them, okay. Three gallon uh, rough neck totes, three quarters of the way full. What I'm going to do is, is my, my tap water comes out a little bit uh, alkaline. Well, actually a lot alkaline. It's up a little over eight. So what I do is, is I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon in here. And the cool thing about this is, is people get real jacked up about hydroponics. They're like, oh man, you got to have pH and this and that. And it is true that plants take up pH be or nutrients better when the pH is uh, below a 7, like around a 5.5 five to a 6.5. 
that is uh, that's important, okay? But don't get too caught up with that. I mean, I'm gonna do do these two grows with showing you that you don't need any um, parts per millions pens. You don't need any uh, pH pens. I mean, don't get so caught up in that, okay? I have that material. Um, I check uh, my plants with it as a like to know, but you don't need it, especially to grow lettuce. It's too easy to grow. Cut a lemon in half, that'll bring your pH down. I mean, don't go putting like six lemons in each, in each container, but, you know, just kind of squeeze. If you get a seed in there, man, don't worry about it, you know, and get it in all, th I'm putting one lemon for all three of these totes. I literally have no idea what the pH is going to be afterwards. I just know that coming out of my tap, it is high. So, I'm going to, if one tote gets a little more, hey man, I don't care. Boom. I've got a little bit of acid in my water now, okay? Next on the list is grow nutrient, okay? Uh, my favorite nutrient uh, to date here is what's called a Dynagro liquid plant food. It is a 795 and it also it has the ma macro and micronutrients. What, the, what does that mean? That means it has all of the 13 additional nutrients on top of NPK that a plant needs to grow. Okay. Now, organic people that grow in rock dust and compost and all this stuff say, you know, plants need, you know, 90... Uh, all 90 elements or 90 elements to grow I mean okay well I'm growing in a grow room and it's the middle of winter and I'm in Michigan okay so this is this is my gardening method here for indoor grow so this is not like an organic thing okay it is a nutrient so uh, not found in nature so it's not organic but if you want to grow some lettuce in the winter time this is a good uh, way to do it on the bottle, if you read the bottle, it says for a non-circulating system, one tablespoon per gallon, or one, I'm sorry, one teaspoon per gallon, okay, so it's pretty concentrated. So I'm growing in three gallon totes, I'm going to need three teaspoons of nutrient for each one of these. So, I'm going to quick. Three, one. Three, two, boom. I didn't measure it down to the last drop, uh, but close enough. Okay. Next on the list, Epsom salt. One teaspoon per uh per three gallon tote, okay, so a lot of, this goes a long way, okay, so don't like be dumping uh, Epsom salt into this like crazy, okay, lettuce doesn't need a whole lot of nutrients, watch my Pablo video, my Pablo video uh, explains parts per million um, in terms of how to grow lettuce and parts per million in lettuce, man, if you did want to measure it, you want to be around six to eight hundred, anything more than that is unnecessary, okay, but again, this grows to show you you don't need to measure that stuff. So put about a teaspoon or tape, yeah, a teaspoon per tote. Done. Okay, so I couldn't find a spoon in my basement and I'm too lazy to walk upstairs. What I do have is a steak knife down here. Why? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to stir this with the ass end of this, uh, this knife, okay? <laughs> Feel free to sing to yourselves. I know this is an exciting and riveting video to watch, okay? One tote done. Two tote done. Three tote done. Next you want to fill them up almost to the top, okay, with water. Um, 
Obviously, you don't want to go over the top. Okay, so I, uh, I cut out and I'm cutting back in real quick. I know that me pouring water into buckets is riveting television, so what I did was is I cut out, uh, filled these things up to about, a, uh, I'd say, half inch from full. Okay, and what we're going to do now, styrofoam, two inch hole cut in the middle of it. Hey man, when you guys get this stuff, you get kids or whatever, you get toys, man, you get this stuff packaged into it, keep it. It's Reuse it. This is perfect lettuce growing material here. Okay, and so what you want to do is you want to cut it just right. You want to cut it to where it completely covers your toe, right? You don't want any light getting in here. You don't want any algae growth because that's going to compete with the nutrients. It's going to it's going to start eating up the nutrients and competing with the plant, and the plant's going to hate you for it. Okay. Next, what you need: net cup and a seedling. Drop it right on in like that. Set it right. Just suspend it right in your uh, styrofoam. You're good to go. I got a couple more started here. Boom. Pop that in there. Good to go. Now, here's the test. Very important. The bottom of these neck cups have to be suspended in water. At least a quarter inch of water, okay? So that, uh, so that the, uh, the plant gets some nutrients until the roots grow completely down and through the net pot. All you have to do is lift this up and make sure you got some dripping water coming off. And you probably couldn't see that, but there is dripping water coming off of it. So, this is perfect. All I gotta do, is the exact same thing for the rest of it when I have them all planted. Okay, I've got all six seedlings going. Uh, they are all planted and literally I'm going to do nothing from this point on other than watch them grow and grow them under this uh, T5 light here. They're going to be 12 hours on, 12 hours off. I should have lettuce, full, full, uh, fully grown lettuce in 30 days from this point. 30 to 40 days, give or take. Um, you know, a lot of people say that hydroponics is an unnatural way to grow, and they are right. It is, it is an unnatural way to grow. You're, you're, you're providing the light, the nutrients, and all of that uh, for the plant. Uh, so, the only thing I can say about that, if you're hesitant about growing hydroponically, is that when you live in an area like I do, Michigan, um, and the snow is literally four feet deep right now outside. It is brutal. It is, I, I, I hate it. I'm so over winter right now. Um, but when you live in an area like this and you cannot grow any vegetables and you have to rely on grocery stores and, and big black stores and all that nonsense for unripe, nasty, shipped cross country, sometimes from other countries like Mexico, for your produce, this is this is a a pretty believe it or not this is a pretty affordable way to go man, you know you take a, a packet of lettuce seeds right five hundred seeds in that at least think about that if I go to my local grocery store and buy a head of lettuce it's about two dollars two dollars right I mean in a packet of seeds that's five hundred seeds if you can get them all to germinate and grow think about that. That's like $1,500 in produce right there. And food. Man, grow your own. Grow your own. Grow it hydroponically. Grow outdoors. And you will save money, especially in the summer. Plant a garden in the summer. Plant a garden in the summer. It is fun. It is encouraging. Um, Hey guys, welcome back inside the grow room. Hey, today is March 7th, 2014, approximately, ready for this, 24 days since I transplanted these seedlings, the Grand Rapids lettuce and the Ruby Red lettuce. I would say we are in round 10 of 12. These babies are just about done already. 24 days since transplant, that's crazy. This is gonna be a five week grow, boom, done, out of here. Um, really impressed, really good grow. Let's take a look at them. All right, on the right side of the table, we have our ruby red lettuce, and on the left side is the first time lettuce grow for Grand Rapids lettuce, and I couldn't be more pleased with either grow. 24 days into this, and they are over the size of the tubs. 
um, let's take a I'll zoom in a little bit closer here and as you can see man this Grand Rapids lettuce man this is awesome awesome stuff crinkled leaves um, it's growing pretty uniform um, I'm really impressed with it and then if we go over to our ruby red now this is a softer textured lettuce I've eaten it before not a huge fan of soft, soft textured lettuce but I'm glad this one is is in the mix because this is a crispier lettuce so this is going to be a good mix for a salad now of course I have never eaten this lettuce before so let's just take a little bite of it okay oh man that's awesome oh, this okay of course this could be uh, I could be really really biased because I'm from Grand Rapids Michigan that's where this was propagated from but I gotta tell you no bitterness sweet crunchy loving it put that in the crisper for about a day and I'm telling you that is going to be some really good lettuce now over here again this is going to be a good mix with this uh, softer textured lettuce I did get a little bit of red in there which uh, this is the reddest I've ever uh, gotten this particular variety, but this is the first time I've shot a video on it, so I'm really happy with it. Let's take a quick peek at the roots here. Oh, look at that. Look at those roots, man. Those things are white, white, white. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful grow right there. There's nothing went wrong with this grow whatsoever. I, I tell you man this cracky stuff is just this is this is this should, this method could re should really change the way people grow lettuce I'm telling you again look at that that is white 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 nothing went wrong with that nothing so I'm gonna we're gonna start chopping on this stuff this weekend that's why I wanted to shoot a video now. I could let it grow out, I don't know, another week or so, but what I'll probably do is just pick the outer leaves, um, let the inner ones grow out a little longer, uh, because I have uh, four new heads that are in the hopper ready to go, uh, I'm shooting a different video on those, so um, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm good to go here, so uh, thanks for watching guys, hope you like this grow. Uh, Give Grand Rapids lettuce a try if you've never tried it, man. This is <laughs> this is really, really good stuff. And uh, I think I'm going to put this in the bigger bin. And I'm going to probably grow 10 heads of it next. So uh, maybe I'll shoot a video on that. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, boom.